One thing I find incredible about the Legend of Zelda series is its ability to tell stories through its masterful world building. It was perhaps the most important game when it comes to this, establishing a lot of what we know about the franchise, is the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. As it's not only one of my favorite Zelda games of all time, it's one of my favorite games ever. And because of that, I constantly replay this game over and over again. And in one of these replays, I think I've noticed a very hidden message on behalf of the Triforce that not only tells of a prophecy that will be realized within this game, but a theme that will be addressed for the rest of the saga. This hidden message that I'm talking about comes at the very focal point within Ocarina of Time, when Link pulls the Master Sword from the pedestal of time and is then sealed within the Sacred Realm, or I should say the Temple of Light, or I should say the Chamber of Sages. And there he stayed for seven long years until he matured into someone old enough to be worthy of the title of Hero of Time. It is here that the Sage of Light, Ra'aru, tells Link of his destiny as being the one that will bring peace back to the land of Hyrule. But it is here in a very interesting shot of this conversation in which I noticed that the Triforce, which is inlaid on this platform within the Chamber of Sages, that gives away a motif that will be used for the rest of the Legend of Zelda series. Take a look on how the floor is set up. Obviously, we see the symbols of the six sages along with their elements, light, forest, fire, water, spirit, and shadow. Now isn't it a bit funny how the order of these temples have always kind of been unanimous as starting with light, continuing on with forest, fire, water, shadow, then spirit. I mean, Sheik even states this order as such. I mean, of course it's possible to bypass this order, but it's obvious that it's intended as such. Yet here in the Chamber of Sages, the spirit tile comes before that of the shadow tile if we go clockwise. That's because these tiles had to be set up in a very specific way for us to see a glimpse of the future. With this specific shot that zoomed out from Link standing in the middle of the Triforce, the Triforce points to three specific elements, shadow, forest, and water. If we take the obvious perspective in directions when it comes to these specific parts of the Triforce, then this literally tells us a prophecy of those who are destined to gain these pieces or virtues of the Triforce, power, wisdom, and courage. As we all know, power being the top triangle, wisdom being the left triangle, and courage being the right triangle. With the Triforce of Courage being pointing towards the forest symbol, which goes in line with Link's green theme, signifying that he will gain the Triforce of Courage now and forever. As at this point in the game, he still hasn't had the Triforce or knows that he has the Triforce. Furthermore, the color green, which is the forest symbol, is obviously associated with the goddess Feor, the golden goddess of courage. Now let's take a look at the Triforce of Wisdom. It's pointing at the water symbol, which obviously is blue. And the color blue has always been associated with that of wisdom, the goddess of wisdom, Nehru. And as we all know, blue is a symbol of that of the royal family, and of course, that of Zelda thus subtly hinting at the destiny that Princess Zelda will have the Triforce of Wisdom. And now we get to the Triforce of Power, which we all know by this time that Ganondorf already has it. And the Triforce of Power is pointing to that of Shadow, a dark element that often is associated with evil. And Ganondorf has been described using this theme time and time again, in which this Triforce piece pointing to that of Shadow tells of Ganondorf's destiny to always wield the Triforce of Power. And furthermore, if we go off the developmental speculation of what these medallions originally were intended for use in the game that got repurposed into Den's Fire, Feora's Wind, and Nara's Love, the Water Medallion and the Forest Medallion were originally supposed to be purposed into the uses that Feora's Wind and Nara's Love give us in what we know of Ocarina of Time, thus bringing the connection closer to these elements and these goddesses and these virtues with these characters who are deemed destined to wield these Triforce pieces. As the Triforce was specifically pointing to these specific medallions and elements, I found it incredibly odd until it all came together, and especially given that Ocarina of Time released in a time when the Zelda games was still very fledgling, the fifth game in the series as a matter of fact. This theme of who is destined for the Triforce pieces did not exist 
up until now. And this could be considered the first hidden message to that theme that will be heralded throughout the Zelda series in merchandise, material, and of course, future games, such as The Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and A Link Between Worlds. And this, my friends, is just one of the many, and I mean many, examples of The Legend of Zelda's masterful world crafting and the stories that it can whisper to us through visual aid. Do you believe in this hidden message of the Triforce that has been known since this focal point within Ocarina of Time? Leave your comments in the comment section below along with your thoughts and theories. Be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe to HMK as I post content every week. Big thanks to my Patreon supporters for help making this video happen. If you want to find out how you can support HMK for just a dollar a month, please check out my Patreon page in the description box below. Alright guys, into the next message from the 5th dimension, this has been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.